We uh, started uh, going into Scandinavia because we were approached by people who'd visited the brewery. We have a shop and we do brewery tours and uh, there were people that were either on holiday or they're expats and they were from Scotland. So they came on the tour, tasted the beers and potentially uh, then actually took them home. The guys that we deal with then had connections in the drinks industry. So at that point they'd got first-hand experience, they knew who we were. Uh, they loved the fact that we're in a national park, we're a natural Scottish product, um, and that's, that's, that was our route in uh, to both Denmark uh, and Norway. The importance of uh, having a story to tell uh, for Scandinavia seemed to be that the unique selling points that we have that were of particular interest to them was the fact that we were a company that is there because it's uh, the owner wanted to create a business that would create local careers, not just jobs. Uh, and that appealed to them. Uh, the fact that we're in a national park, the fact that it's a very special area scenically, it was seen as very pure because the mountain water, the fresh air, we have our own live yeast culture, we use quality ingredients, uh, hop flowers, um, and uh, you know, good quality malt uh, seemed to appeal to them. A lot of the branding that we use is about the species that are important to the national parks. So we've got a lot of animals and birds that are as part of the branding and that seemed to appeal to them. Also the style of beers that we have. Um, we have craft beers that also have added ingredients like one of uh, our brands uh, called Tradewinds has elderflower in it and others have orange peel and coriander and that seemed to uh, appeal to their palate that it was something a bit different. The, the key issues uh, I feel are um, that it's very important to know what the duty rates might be on alcohol because um, that affects what the potential retail price would be so you don't want to appear in the market to be too expensive but you also in the same way don't want to appear to be too cheap either because we're a premium brand uh, the advantages I feel and what made it easy to do business in Scandinavia is the culture you know predominantly in business they speak English it's a fairly relaxed atmosphere uh, there's not too many regulations and limitations as to how you can uh, deal in the market for us it was a good introduction uh, to put our toe in the water into exporting. The regulations for each of the markets, um, the, we have a questionnaire that we ask any potential customer to fill in that might tell us whether there's any specific labelling requirements as a food and drink product or whether there are legal regulations regarding wastage and what packaging you use. Um, but for any market, whether it's food and drink or whether it's electronics, there are usually going to be regulations uh, that the government set that you've got to jump through those hoops so we've in in the past we've we sought advice through Scottish Development International we have used the European network before um, so really it's wherever I think I can get that help and advice I would go and research the market as much as I possibly could on my own and seek advice um, the great thing about SDI is that if you have a customer inquiry you can actually go and ask them to check them out to, to make sure that they are actually a legitimate business because obviously if they're taking your product into a new market you want to make sure it's been placed in the right right location and right uh, outlets. It's important to be placed in the right place in the market especially when it's a new market because it's all about your brand integrity and it's important that um, you uh, are not going into the marketplace um, that isn't going to give you a premium um, shelf. Uh, you, you know, we, we want to be perceived we are a premium product and therefore you don't want to end up in the wrong stores in a new market that then once you're in the wrong place it's very difficult to get out of.